Good evening. Today we are going to start with the decision four digit divided by one digit. So this is very similar as three digit divided by one digit and two digit divided by one digit. It is the same process, but the only thing we are doing is we are adding a digit. Okay. So uh, the answer is also going to be long according to it. Okay. So first I need you to see the equation that I have written. 4723 divided by 5. Okay, so here we have four digits on the left side and one digit on the right side. Okay, just a second. Okay, yes. So we are here reviewing the equation 4723 divided by 5. So here we can already see that it is not exactly divisible by 5, but we can still divide it because we can go into decimals like we've gone right now. But if you don't want to go into decimals, it is your choice. Okay, so now I've written some steps here. See, in just like one page, it has ended. It is very small. And now let's see the steps first. The first step is find out that in how many digits the answer will come by seeing the first digit of the dividend and comparing it to the divisor. So before this step, I want to clear that dividend is the left side number and divisor is the right side number. Okay. I hope you know that. Yes. So. Let's uh, now start with the first step that in how many digits are answer will come easy. We have four digits on the left side, one digit on the right side, minus the digits. What do what answer do we get? Three digits. So our answer will be in three digits. Okay. It can be in four digits as well, but in most of the cases it is three digit. Okay. Here also see it is only three digit and not four digit. And this digit, you don't count this as a digit here. You count it, but it is a decimal digit. It is in decimal places. So that is why we are not counting this here. And we're counting only this part, the left part, which is the answer. Three digits. Okay. So now I just told you how to find out if you don't want to find out in how many many uh, digits your answer will come. It is your choice. It is not a compulsory step. This is not a compulsory step. If you want to do, you can do it. Optional. Okay. But if you do this, it will be good for you because you will know that your answer will come in how many digits. So if you know that, then it is easy to figure out in the uh, end. Like, is your answer correct or not? Is it, it is easier to check. Okay. So now the second step is divide the first digit of the dividend by the divisor. Take the second and put carry digit if first digit is smaller than the divisor. Okay, I'll make you understand this thing. So basically what I'm saying here is jo hamara pehla digit hai, hamara dividend ka, the left side number, the first digit of our dividend the left side number four, we have to divide this with five, which is our divisor. And here you can see it is written, take the second number, okay? I forgot to write your number. I'll write it, number. Okay, yeah. Take the second number and put the, uh, put carry uh, digit if 
first digit is less than divisor so i need to understand what this means this is basically jo hamara first digit hai dv then ka the fourth digit of our dividend if is it is smaller uh, than our divisor then we can take the second digit of our Div uh, dividend and together we can divide this number with our divisor okay so this is what it basically means okay so we are here 47 divided by 5 because obviously 4 is lesser than 5 so 47 divided by 5 is how much 9 because uh, 45 comes in the table of 5 not 47 so here obviously we haven't divided the whole number 47 so we'll what we'll do in normal division also we do this we minus so 47 minus 45 is how much i'll write here 2 okay so to here we are just taking a carry and we can figure out the third step that dividing the fall divide the following digits in the same manner and write the answer you can go into points if you want uh to by adding zeros in the remainder okay i'll uh, make you understand what the decimal thing means okay but first let's do the numbers uh, before the decimal uh place okay so now uh, we are just dividing the next thing also so Two, we will take a scary. So twenty two, twenty two divided by five is how much? Now tell me. Like we are dividing twenty two. I'll write here. We are not dividing two. We are dividing twenty two. So twenty two divided by five is how much? Four, because twenty comes as a table of four, not twenty two. And we'll just minus it. We're going to get two again because twenty two minus twenty is again two. And here we have the number three. So we'll take. 2 is carry so 23 right 23 now we have to divide this 23 by the number 5 so what answer we'll get again 4 because 20 comes to the table of 5 and not 23 we'll when we'll minus it what will we get 3 because 23 minus 20 is 3 so we're going to take 3 as carry now the thing I had to explain you, the decimal place, right? So here it is written, you can go into points. The points is basically decimal, okay? You can go into points if you want to by adding zeros to the reminder. Like adding zeros to the reminder, what does it mean? Let me explain. So three is a reminder here, three is a reminder. I'll write the R here, yes. Three is a reminder, right? We have to add a zero to it. So we are not adding, adding, like we are not, like, 3 plus 0. We are not doing that. We are doing 3, 0. So, 3, 0 is what? 30, right? So, we have to divide this thing by this number 5 and 30 divided by 5 is how much? 6, right? 6, which we have written here. And uh, if our answer would have come in a digit where we had to minus and then we have gotten a remainder once again, then we have gotten like a 0 to it and then divided it again. So, if... I want to do this. Suppose I had gotten 31, okay? Suppose my answer 31 I hota. So I would have divided 31 by 5. I would have gotten the number 6 as our answer because 30 comes in the table of 5 and not 31. And then I would have subtracted it and I would have gotten 1 as my remainder. And then I would have added a 0 to 1 again to get my point, okay? Understood? So, 10 10 would come. So, 10 divided by 5 is how much? 2. So, 0. 0.62 jata. But here, uh, we don't have to do that because 30 is properly divisible by 5. And we have got another answer. 944.6. I'll erase all the scribbles that I have done so that you can see clearly what I have written. Okay? Understood? Hmm? Yeah, okay. Mm, this let me erase this thing. Yeah. So now we'll do a, a question or two again for your understanding, okay? Let me just take a blank page. Yeah. So the, our question is... Yeah. Four 
फोर टू टू डिवाइडेड बाय टू द इजीस क्वेश्चन टू एवर एक्जिस्ट आई थिंक सो हाउ विल वी टेक आर आंसर ओके नाउ यू विल हेल्प मी आंसर ओके या एंड न्यूट्रल सेल्फ आंसर में आई कांट हियर यू First, we will do four divided by two, which is two. Which is two. The answer is two. two. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Then um. We would uh subtract it, and it would be zero. So we would just move on to the next step, and we would divide four divided by two again, which is two. Hmm. Hmm. Then uh, we would divide. Two divided by two, which is one, and then the same thing again. Two divided by two, one. Okay, very good. And <clears throat> uh, what will be our remainder? Um, zero. Do we need to go in points? No. Very good. Why do we don't? Why do we not need to go in points? Uh, because there's no remainder. Okay. But you said zero is a remainder. Uh, zero basically means nothing. So. Very good. Correct. Yes, in long division also sometimes we write cross instead of zero, so it means nothing. Right. Correct. Very good. Okay. Let's take another number. Don't mind my handwriting. I am writing with the help of my laptop, not with the help of my pen right now. Two, three, seven, one divided by three. Okay, so help me. Okay, first, um, two divided by three, uh, which is one. I mean, sorry. yeah, which is one. So the carryover would be one. No. We okay. You got it wrong here a bit. What we will do? We will take twenty three because two to chota hai na thi se. Yeah. So this is where you need to focus, okay? So two is smaller than three, so you need to take the whole digit here. So twenty three divided by three is how much? Hmm. Twenty three divided by three is twenty three. Twenty three seven. Check your mic, okay? Check your mic once. I can't hear you in between, okay? So okay. seven it is, and then uh, what number did you divide? We divided twenty one, and then we'll minus it. We'll get two. We'll take two as carry two, and seven becomes twenty seven. I'll write twenty seven here. Twenty seven comes on the table of three at nine, so we're going to take nine here. Now one, one is smaller than three. What do we do? We take zero, obviously. So basically, we go in points now. Our answer is two digit, but it can't be two digit, right? It is supposed to be three digits. So what we'll do? We have made a mistake here. What mistake have we made? The mistake we have made here that we took, uh, uh, like one with a zero, ten, right? But we didn't place anything in place of it. So whenever we take two digits together, we place a zero for them. So I just place a zero here, then point, then ten divided by three is how much? Three, and then the cycle would continue because ten, 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 आता रहेगा three, three आता रहेगा because nine आता है and three के table में not ten, है ना? तो seven ninety point three is our answer. Three, three you can write three, three. Okay? Yeah. Hmm. Good. Okay. So understood, right? Any doubt? No ma'am. Okay, very good. So this was all for today for your new topic. I hope you understood this. It is very similar as your three digit divided by one digit. I have written here, and we have done some questions also, and uh, it is very similar to the like every division that you've done till now. And if you want to master this, you'll have to learn the previous divisions, and uh, if you want. To master five digit also, then you'll have to master for this first. Okay, so yeah, this was all for today. Thank you. Okay. So, did you understand properly? Yes, ma'am.